morning everyone my name is Carla and you have reached my floss tube channel Carla being crafty where I talk about mostly cross stitch but other crafts that I enjoy and a little bit of life thrown in um today is floss tube number 103 it is Sunday August 8th and it is about 9 30 in the morning um I drove home this morning after spending the day yesterday at my brother's and as I do kind of every other weekend so I get up nice and early on Sundays and just drive home and then get ready instead of driving at night um you know the night before that way I can spend a little extra time with them we can watch a movie at night and um, I end up home and ready to go for my video around the same time as I would if I slept here so it, it works really well and um, I've been enjoying that for the last several months that we've been doing it um, so welcome everybody if this is your first time finding my channel I hope that you like what you see you want to hit like and subscribe and I'm gonna raise my camera just a little bit because I feel like I feel like I am yeah that's a little better <laughs> I feel like uh, my head was getting cut off at the top of the screen there so you guys got to see me up close and personal and see that it's a little bit sweaty in here because when I start my video, I turn off my air conditioning because it's right there and um, I don't think it would make a pleasant sound on the video. So in the summertime, when it gets hot and sweaty in here, <laughs> I suffer through for you guys, which is part of, part of why I do it early in the morning because at least it's not that bad um, temp wise. It's kind of overcast today, but it's still kind of in hot. It's in the high 80s, low 90s all week and um, it might cool off a little bit today because of as I said, it is pretty overcast, but that kind of just makes it muggy. So we are fully in summer, you guys. I always think it's funny because when we are in winter, everybody's like, oh, I can't wait for spring and summer and the warm weather. And then we hit the warm weather and everybody's like, I can't wait for fall. <laughs> um, I do the same thing. So I'm not giving, a, giving guff to anybody, but I just think it's funny. So um, I don't know that I'm gonna have a very long video for you guys today. I say that a lot, but I think that it might be true this week. Um, partly because I just didn't stitch that much. Um, I didn't stitch Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. And um, part of that is because, as you may have gathered from the title of the video, what I'm planning on titling it, I was a total klutz this week. And Thursday morning, I was rushing around, getting ready to leave. Um, I was picking my friend up for work. Um, and uh, I had gotten some groceries to like bring to work, you know, for some lunches and stuff, breakfast to kind of keep food at my desk. And some of what I gotten was little shelf stable almond milks and some things of cereal. Um, but I realized we just moved into a new office, much smaller, and we have plastic forks in there, but we don't have any spoons. So I was like, oh gosh, I have cereal. I better get a spoon. So I was holding this bag of groceries. My phone was already in my purse, which hangs up by my door, um, you know, ready for me to take when I leave. And I went into my kitchen, which you can see right back there. It's not a big long walk or anything, but I guess I caught one foot in like the pant leg of the other foot because I tend to wear kind of like wide leg pants. I like that style, but I caught my foot and I completely smacked on my face. Um, I was not hurt. Uh, let's get that out of the way. I mean, it hurt. <laughs> and I have spent the last several days kind of extra achy and my knees extra hurting, but I didn't actually, you know, hurt myself permanently. Um, but as I was going down, and then when I was lying on the floor completely, I mean, seriously, my cheek was on the floor. I was completely spread out. It went through my head again <laughs> that I live alone. And I've had this thought a couple times over the last year or so that what if something happened to me? Um, what if I fell and hurt myself? Or what if I had the flu really bad? What if whatever happened to me and I was, it wasn't close to my phone? What would happen? Um, because I live alone. And I mean, I have plenty of people who check on me uh, daily and you know, I'm sure that if they didn't hear from me for a couple days, that alarm would be raised, but you know, you don't want to lay on the floor with a broken leg for two days, right? Um, so, <laughs> um, and then the other 
issue that I have had that has made my brain work in the past is there was a, a, a night a couple of weeks ago when I left my phone at work and I got home and realized I didn't have it and I had to drive all the way back to work because that is my only means of communication with the outside world. They don't have a landline, um, you know, which is not unusual in this day and age. People don't have landlines anymore because everybody has cell phones. But again, I live alone. So it's not like I have a roommate or a partner um, that I could use their phone in case of emergency. So if I don't have my phone with me, I am completely, you know, cut off from the outside world. And so, as I said, it's been brewing in my head that I needed to have another way to communicate. And um, when I fell Thursday, it, it made me pull the trigger. I went to work and I ordered myself an Apple Watch. It is an expense. I didn't want to take that expense and I feel even guilty for having spent the money um, that I don't really have. <laughs> but as a safety thing, as a peace of mind thing, um, it really made me pull the trigger. As I said, I didn't hurt myself. Um, but it kind of scared me, you know, because there was that idea of like, what if I had God forbid broken my leg and my phone was, you know, 20 feet away up in the air. How would I, you know, what would I have to like crawl around my apartment to try and get out, you know, to, to, <laughs> to call for help. Um, and you know, I have been looking, you know, looking at the Apple watch, um, you know, the one with the cellular with its own cellular. Um, so you can add it to your cellular plan. It is not expensive to add it. It's like an extra $10 a month. Um, it is more expensive to get the phone with the cellular, but again, um, I, just for the peace of mind, I, I talked to uh, Stacy and Tracy, you know, and they're both like, you know, go for it. it. It's worth it for the peace of mind. It's worth it for them to know that um, I could contact them if something happened to me. Um, so I figure if I'm wearing this in my apartment, um, you know, at night and whatever, it does a lot of things that, that are helpful. It's helping me exercise a little bit more, which is always good. Um, I mean, granted, I only had it for a couple days, but um, it is kind of uh, able to uh, record your sleep patterns, which is something that I've been interested in because um, I do wake up a lot in the middle of the night. So I'm trying to figure out um, things that might work better for me as far as that goes. Um, and then the big thing is, is I can use it to call and text in case of emergency. And it also has uh, a fall alert. So if you do take a hard fall, and I guess it can it can sense that because of, I don't know, the gyroscopy things in it. I'm not that tech, tech uh, savvy, but um, it will detect if there's a hard fall. And, you know, it kind of like will ask you, you know, you have an opportunity to say, no, I'm okay. Um, if you're not moving, it'll call like emergency services after 30 seconds of you not moving and it will um, also uh, text the people that are on your emergency contact list to let them know that emergency services have been called um, and when it calls emergency services it'll give you the give them your location um, so I just as a safety feature I felt like the expense was worth it. So I got a new toy this week. It is a week for my birthday. So I got myself a birthday present and um, I think it was a good expense. I think it's something that um, is a smart thing to have for me because I, I do live alone. Um, and you know, I'm not, I'm not 20 years old anymore. And uh, yeah, so I mean, again, like I had that incident of low blood sugar and you know, what if something happened in the middle of the night and I was disoriented, it might be good to be able to call emergency services regardless of where my phone is charging at night. So anyway, so that was my big, my big thing this week was being a klutz. Um, has, has it relates to stitching is that because I fell on Thursday morning, I was in pain Thursday night. I mean, I was achy. Um, I had all these little places that felt like bruised and I don't have any bruises or anything to show that I fell, but, um, but yeah, Thursday night I was, I was very sore and just didn't feel like stitching. And in fact, my arm was kind of aching and I, I was trying to hold something up like this and it was hurting. And I'm like, I can't hold a hoop tonight. It's just, I just went to bed a little bit early and, and got a little bit extra sleep. 
and then Friday and last night I was at Aaron's and I just didn't feel like it. I was tired. I was still achy. Um, we were watching movies and stuff and I just decided to concentrate on the movies and just enjoy them. Um, and I didn't do any stitching. So I only stitched four days this week instead of my usual seven. And, um, so anyway, um, but anyway, I am, I am fine. So, you know, no alarm there. It just made me buy myself a little, a little present and, um, and just make plans to be maybe a little more careful. <laughs> But, you know, I'm a clutch. So I, I always have been and I think I always will be. So um, we want to make sure that I don't break anything <laughs> on my journey to uh, to being a, a elderly person. I'm not an elderly person yet. My birthday is next week. I still will not be an elderly person. Um, anyway, so that was like my big thing that happened this week. Um, other things I just kind of wanted to mention to you guys is I am doing Common Threaded Stitcher on Instagram. It's totally fun. Um, I have to catch up cause I didn't do, uh, yesterday and today yet. Um, but, uh, it's really fun and, and I encourage you guys to participate. Thank you so much to those of you that have commented on my posts. Um, that's always fun too, to connect with people that you kind of know through philosophy to connect with them on Instagram as well, and, you know, to have the crossover. So that's really great. And even if you don't want to make posts, um, it's really fun to, to read other people's posts and to get to know all these other people in the cross stitch community because we are vast and varied, which is, um, really a great thing, you know, and it's like everybody who does cross stitch and crafts, we all have different tastes and different styles. And you can see some people who do exactly the kind of thing you'd want to do. And some people that do stuff that you would never want to do, but you can still admire its beauty. Um, it's just, it's, it's so fun in that way. And I think Common Threaded Stitcher, just the concept of it, which, uh, Kia B started it and there's 10 people on the, the team. Um, I just think it's great. Um, and I'm really glad to be participating in it again this year. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I usually post first thing in the morning uh, when I'm in the bathroom and, um, yeah. So, um, so check that out. If you, if you haven't already, then I, I do encourage you to check it out. It's fun and, um, easy to participate. You can post one day and not post. And again, you can post every day. You can, you know, do what you want to do with it, but it is a very fun thing to do. And I do encourage you to, um, check it out on Instagram. Okay. So that's all my preamble today, and I will get into the stitching. I actually have a finish this week for you guys. Um, actually, it's um, it's a, a, well, it's not really a SAF because I did start it last week and showed it to you last week, but um, I didn't have very much done on it, so kind of. Um, so as I've mentioned numerous times, um, my birthday, is next week in August and I started stitching 2019 and 2019 I started my black cat birthday sal um and I did uh Nora Corbett's red kitten in August of 2019 for that sal and I had a really lot of fun doing it um and I decided to kind of do a black cat birthday sal every every year uh and post a little bit on Instagram and if people wanted to join me that's great um I really appreciate anybody who does do that so I started and finished uh, the Red Kitten, as I said, in August of 2019. Then last year I got a little bit more ambitious and I started uh, Night Walk Down. Um, and I haven't finished it yet. So this year, what I decided to do was do a tiny little thing um, so that I could definitely get a finish and then continue to work on Night Walk Down. Um, so this is what I did. I did the Kitty Cocktail. Uh, Calico Crossroads. Um, this is an older chart that I do not think is still in print, but I got this, you know, secondary market. Um, this is actually from 2005. So there's a whole, obviously, uh, year series. Um, and I just happened to see this August one. Um, I think on 1884 Stitchery, I got it as a $2 chart. And I decided because August is my birthday, I'd go ahead and do the August one, put the August on there. Um, I did it on a little piece of, um, this is 20 count ate it and I just dipped it in like a teal dye bath because I, I didn't want the weight. 
Um, and then I just added a little bit of color to it. Um, so I added yellow in the, in the glass, a little bit of uh, orange right here, a little pink on the straw. And um, then the green was already charted. And I just think it's adorable. I did this really in two nights, three nights, something like that. And uh, so my 2021 Black Cat Birthday Style is finished. Um, I also got, so this is this is actually my whole haul for the week. Um, I got this, oops, this little frame, which I haven't even taken out of the package yet. Um, and I was meaning to actually frame it um, so I could have it fully finished to show you guys. Uh, and then, you know, Thursday happened and I basically did nothing. But hold on. I'm going to take it out of the package. Hopefully I'm not going to break it while I'm trying to do that. Okay, I just got this on Amazon. Um, it's just a 4 by 4 inch little little frame. Um, I thought it was really cute. And I'm going to put this in it. Anyway, so I'm going to do that. I will have this to show you next week, and then I will be able to put it up on my little uh, display shelf. And I think I'll keep it up all the time. I won't just bring it out for August, because I think he's adorable. So that was my finish for my Black Cat Birthday Sal. Um, and as I said, since I finished that, then I'm going to go back um, for the rest of the month and work more on Night Walk Down by the Blue Flower. Um... This came out last year at, I don't know, it came out at the, is it Market? Um, yeah, Nashville Needlework Market, the one that is in, that in, in 2020 was like right before the pandemic started, so everybody went, and then um, I think this came out then. I could be wrong. When I saw it, I loved it. I knew I wanted to do it as my Black Cat birthday this out, and I got it and held on to it. Oh, you know what? It came out in 2019, so it must have been the year before. I don't know. I don't know when it came out. I got it. I held on to it for my Black Cat birthday sale. But, anyway. Um, and I did stitch the cat in 2020 um, and got that part done. And now I'm just working on the rest of it. So we'll see how far I can get on this. Uh, I guess maybe I will have to stick to small Black Cat Birthday Cell projects until I get this one done and then I can go to another big one. But yeah, this is going to be really pretty when it's done. But I have quite a ways to go on it, to be quite honest. Okay. So <clears throat> then aside from Calico, or not Cal Cocktail Kitty, um, I worked on three other whips this week. Um, I worked on Lavender Roses. I showed you guys this last week, and I, and I just did a little bit more on Sunday. I got further down in the nose. I hadn't gotten to the orange, pinky orangey colors in that diagonal yet, and so I did about that much more so so pretty every time I pull this out it makes me want to you know work on it more and more and then you know I'll set it aside and then I don't work on it for weeks um, but I do really want to work on this enough to, to possibly get it finished this year I think that would be really great um, I know I have plans I think for November, I am going to go through my whips and pull out everything that I think I could, if I, if I push, I could get finished this year and just try and push and get finished those last few months of the year. Um, that is one of my plans. Um, so I do want to do a push on this. It's, it's, uh, it's got a lot to go, you know, stitch wise, but it's, you know, it's more than two thirds done. Um, and I think, I think that if, 
if I get a roll on it, possibly I could get it finished. So we'll see. I have so many other things though that I'm excited to stitch on. So, um, okay. So the other two that I worked on this week, um, I pulled out to everything. This, there is a season I'm going to be working on this this month. Um, this chart was one of the first ones I actually got when I started stitching and I specifically went looking for something with this, uh, this saying on it. Um, because my dad, uh, passed when I was 10, but he loved this, this passage. Um, and he loved the song by the birds and, you know, unfortunately when you lose a parent that young, you don't have a ton of memories, but when you have a few that stick out, they stick out. And one of them had to do with this, this poem and him playing the bird song to my Hebrew school class when he was teaching it. And, um, so I really, I really wanted something to stitch with this on it. And I found this, this chart and I, I realize it's a little bit old fashioned. Um, this chart is actually from 1994. Um, and I know I'm getting terrible glare on it. Um, so yeah, maybe it has a little bit of an old fashioned look to it, but I kind of like the way that this kind of looks tapestry like, um, and then the four corners have the, the seasons. Um, I just, I just like it. And, um, I don't care if it looks like it's from the eighties. I graduated high school in the eighties. So I'm a child of the eighties and, um, I think that's okay. So I worked on this, I think Wednesday. And, um, I actually got quite a bit done. So I actually was able to finish, except for the border part, I finished this top tapestry band and then I got quite a bit done in this corner. Um, this is the summer tree, which was done, I think in 2019, I finished that. And then, um, this is, I think the spring one. So it, the top is all pink blossoms and and then I have a little bit of the words started. So I do really like this. My dad's birthday was August 29th. So that's one reason why in August I want to, I want to remember him and think about him as well. And, um, this piece and then my, um, Pooh Bear piece are the two that, that are for him in honor of him. So. And then the last thing I worked on, this should be no shock to anybody, is Enchantress of the Abyss on the Ada that I dyed that came out the way I wanted it to. Uh, this is Bella Filipina. Beautiful mermaid. gonna be so pretty I mean I realize it doesn't really look like anything yet but look at those colors so this is the hair and as I get over here that's kind of her face where she's like going like this um, so her face and stuff is over here and then her hair comes out like this and this is actually one of like the plumy things of the tail. So the tail is going to come down and around like that. But then there's these plumy things. So that's what the green is. But she's going to be a pretty one. So yeah, I'm excited to work on this one. I just, it's so pretty. And I say that I'm excited to work on all of my projects. Um, and that's one thing I think I have to, I have to do before the end of the year. Um, I need to go through, I'll do a whip parade at the end of the year. I, I like doing it that way, but I have to make a couple decisions on a couple projects that, um, I haven't worked on in a long time and I have to decide if I haven't worked on them just cause I haven't pulled them out. If I haven't worked on them cause I really don't want to work on them and what I should do about it. Um, I have a couple that I need to think about, um, I either need to make the decision to work on it and get it going or get it done if it's small, um, or just to give up. Um, I know uh, intellectually there's no shame in that. You know, it's my craft. It's my whatever I want to do. 
Uh, I have a hard time abandoning projects though. It, it, it is, it feels like a real failure to me and, um, and that's really hard. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to think long and hard about that. And then the other idea is that, you know, if I really think that I'm not going to work on it to make that declaration, pack it up and put it away. And then if I change my mind down the road, it's not destroyed, but I can pull it back out again. Um, I, again, I have to, I have to make a decision on that. Um, so, um, okay. So next I usually show haul. I don't really have any haul except for the frame that I showed you guys, um, that I got from Amazon. Um, I need to, when I feel more comfortable as far as, you know, pandemic stuff, I don't feel super comfortable going into stores and I'm still avoiding it. I'm really, I don't have contact with anybody except for the people at work and my, um, my brother and sister-in-law and the kids and, and my stepkid. Um, I'm going to be going to a play on Friday. I really want to go, but I'm actually feeling a little bit anxious about that. And definitely I'm going to keep my mask on the whole time and everything. Um, but I am looking forward to seeing those people that I haven't seen in years now. Um, cause they were all such a big part of my life and, and I love them all. Um, so that's gonna be hard, but I am still feeling anxious about going into stores with the Delta variant coming back up in Orange County has gotten some rising numbers and stuff. So and that's not good. And I think, you know, it's time for all, us to all be wise again and be very careful. Um, but, you know, I did enjoy occasionally going into the, um, the Goodwill store that's kind of right by my work, although it's not by my work anymore because I don't work at the same place. But there's also another one on the way home and looking for little frames and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not comfortable going in there again yet. Um, so, you know, I paid full price of like $9 for this one. And, uh, you know, I like getting little frames and stuff and just getting them because they're cute and cool. And then finding a use for them later. I always find that kind of cool. But, um, I looked through all of the little things that I had kind of in my, in my frame stash, which isn't huge, but, um, I didn't have any squares. I had a bunch of little rectangle things, but you know, this, this pattern is definitely, definitely square needs a square frame. So anyway, but other than that, um, I don't really have any haul. Um, I did get a couple sets of new glasses. I got, uh, my two times glasses, which I use for reading and when I'm on my video. And then I got my four times glasses, which I use for stitching. Um, occasionally I buy new ones as you guys, if, if you've watched me for any time, you know that I'm wearing different glasses in every video. Um, that's kind of one of my things. I just, <laughs> I wear all different ones and I figure if I have to have them to see, then they're going to be a fashion accessory as well. And, um, and I do not spend a lot of money. I get the ones that are like, you know, you get five or six pairs for, 13 or $15, um, which also means because they're not expensive that they can break easy. The, the frames get, or the glass gets, you know, cloudy ish. Then I don't feel bad about losing them or throwing away or whatever and getting new ones. Um, so I got, I got some glasses. Um, but that in the frame is really all I got this week. Oh, and then, you know, a watch that cost a couple hundred dollars. Um, <laughs> And, um, anyway, so I don't really have any haul. Um, I'm looking forward this week to continuing on my August stitching. I'm definitely going to stitch on Night Walk Down at some point. Um, working more on Enchantress of the Abyss, possibly Bellatrix because I love her still. Um, and, uh, and, um, to everything there is a season. Um, what else? plans. Um, oh, at, because next week's my birthday, I'm planning on starting, um, this little Milha lion that hopefully I will get done, um, very quickly because he's just a little ornament. Um, I've done a lion actually started it on my birthday for again, the last two years. Um, the first year I did, um, <clears throat> the, uh, lion of Judah, uh, it actually was a county canvas piece um, that I found on eBay 
for like $12 and I mean it was full of silk and specialty threads and it, you know it was such a great buy um, and find. So I did that one um, in 2019 and um, I just love it. I'm really glad I did that one. And then last year I did the Satsuma Street Lion or the Satsuma Street Leo, which was the first time that I had tried out uh, Black Ada. Um, so I have that one hanging in my bathroom and, and it's great. So that's another little tradition I started. Aside from the Black Cat birthday sale in August, I start a little lion something on my birthday as well because I'm a Leo. Um, so this is what I'm gonna do this year. Um, so that I have another little ornament to put on my, um, my seasonal tree that I haven't done anything with in months and months. Um, so yeah, so that will be started probably not till next Sunday after my video next week, but, um, cause I want to start it on my birthday. I don't have any specific plans for my birthday. Um, I think I will be ordering some cupcakes or something for myself on Saturday delivered so that I have them Sunday um because there's something there's something in my head that if it's my birthday I gotta have a piece of cake or a cupcake and uh, you know maybe I'll light a candle here on my video and um make a wish on on camera uh with you guys because you guys are such a good huge wonderful part of my life every week um but yeah other than going to work and um, probably my boss will take me out to lunch sometime this week or the following week. Um, he always does for our birthdays, uh, which is nice. We usually go to Filipino for food because I only have Filipino food with them and I really like it. So, um, it has become kind of a birthday tradition. <laughs> um, hopefully, uh, we'll have to eat outside again, but, or we'll do takeout, but that, that'll probably happen sometime next week. And, um, other than that, it's just gonna probably be a normal week and then Friday night I'm going to a play with Taylor and um, I'm really looking forward to that and then he said he's gonna take me out to dinner after um and yeah and then I'll have a relaxing Saturday and Sunday next weekend uh today I'm gonna be stitching uh, maybe napping you guys know when I go over to Aaron and Stacy's I am a little bit tired because I just you know obviously I don't sleep as well when I'm sleeping on a couch um, but, uh, but I wouldn't give it up for anything. It's, it's worth being a little bit tired on Sunday to have all of that wonderful time with, um, my favorite people in the world. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. Be safe. Don't splat on your face like I did because it's not a fun thing to do. And, um, until I see you guys again, please remember to be content, be kind, and be crafty. This is Carla. Bye-bye.